November 1st already. I don't even know where November went, let alone the rest of the year. Um, as you can tell by the title, shit has hit the fan at our house. I cannot even believe what has happened. You guys are going to see it firsthand, the whole process of everything that's been going on. But I felt like I couldn't start Vlogmas without explaining what's been happening for the last couple of weeks because the last time I checked in with you, we were getting ready to have our driveway done. So I'm going to leave you here with some footage over the last couple of weeks of getting the driveway done. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay? Beware. It's, it's a good one. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. good morning so good morning it is 10 past 9 I've been up since 2 I went to bed at midnight so I'm very very tired today I just feel so jittery so excited so nervous just anxious all those feelings today it is a huge day if you watched our last vlog you would have seen that we were getting our concreting done and obviously you've seen this morning that the trucks are here it's happening today <sighs> this is just I'm this has been a long time coming, you guys. We've been in our house for 12 months already, and we're only just getting the paths poured today, which is pretty exciting. I uh, mentioned in our last vlog that we were gonna try and get the grass in by Christmas. We are still gonna try, but Matt has decided now that he wants to put irrigation in, so it's probably not gonna happen. But we are at least gonna have driveways, so that is a plus. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love I don't even know where to start or what to say right now I just, I'm still lost for words two weeks later It is so bad, you guys So 
essentially you can see here that there are so many different colors on the driveway um, apparently it went off too quick they did put some retardant in it and also put plastic down because it was a 35 degree Celsius day that they were pouring which in our opinion was far too hot to be pouring that much concrete um, just based on our experience with our front yard and previous driveways that we've poured but we agreed to let them do it because they were the professionals. They knew what they were doing. They were employed to do a job. Um, yeah, obviously it didn't work. Where all the white stuff is on the driveway, that's where they got a pressure washer out at the end of the day and tried to expose it. But it just, it looked terrible. And honestly, we have exposed at the front and it looks great. But when you've got kids playing, exposed isn't a great thing to have because if they fall over... It literally takes chunks out of their legs and arms and whatever else they fall on. Um, it's not very nice. It's not very soft. It's not fun to play on. And that is not what we wanted in our backyard. So we told them to stop. But that is what that mess is. In front of the garage, you can see a whole bunch of discoloration. I don't even know what that is. I don't know whether it was because it was two different trucks of concrete or what. But it looks terrible it looks worse in person than what you guys are seeing on here as well and don't even get me started on the drains I just I, I don't know I don't know I don't know what they did like I don't know what they did our exposed at the front was phenomenal we used a different company the reason why we changed companies for the back is because they couldn't come in and do it for six or seven weeks and we really wanted to have grass for Christmas and this other company could do it in four weeks. And now I just, I wish that we had waited. I really wish that we had waited. Um, you can see walking down the side of the house that they just didn't finish off any of the edges around the down pipes. They didn't even smooth out the concrete. There is lumps, there's divots, there's water traps. There is <sighs> everything that could go wrong went wrong. So there's other problems as well with it with regards to the drainage um, that you can't see because obviously it's not raining right now but it was raining earlier today and I walked out there and I saw that there was lots of pooling because they didn't do their levels right. It's just I'm trying to stay calm right now. I'm trying so hard to stay calm. Like I said before it's been two weeks since it's been done. Matt and I have cried numerous times over it. It's just it's caused so many issues. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. They are being very bad with communication as well, which makes things even worse. I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to leave this vlog here though. I'm going to make sure tomorrow's vlog is a much happier one. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update with what's been going on because it's going to be weird us not having concrete and then having concrete and then telling you guys that it all has to be cut out. I have a four month old baby as well. So I don't know how they're going to do that. Apparently they do it with jackhammers, which is going to be great. Um, that's if we get it done before Christmas now, which is not looking likely. So wish us luck. I am going to send off an email in the morning and hopefully we get a response with some dates. But at this stage, there will be no grass. Well, obviously there's going to be no grass before Christmas. There's just no way we can get that in now. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update with what's been happening and why I've been so MIA on this platform. I will see you guys tomorrow with a much happier video. Good night, guys.